Hello, welcome back everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're all enjoying the video so far. Thanks so much to everyone who is liking the videos, commenting and subscribing. Please don't forget if you do like the videos and you do like our channel, subscribe and then you'll be able to see more videos we post and click the little bell and you'll be notified when they come up. Today we are in our cow sheds and we are going to be explaining to you why our cows are inside at this time of year and we'll give you all about all the information you need to know. So basically our cows are living in their own, very own cow hotel. Um, and we'll go into all the details of what they do inside here, how we look after them and everything you need to know. So first off, we'll just start by saying that all of our cows are pedigree Jersey cows. And that's really important to us on the island. The Jersey cow has been, well, it was founded, it was discovered and comes from our very own island and is now found all over the world. But every Jersey cow originates from here. So for us to still be looking after and having Jersey cows on our farm, it makes it really, really special. It's also one of the requirements that if we want to supply milk to our dairy, so that's Jersey dairy, we have to have 100% pedigree Jerseys on our farm. The other thing that makes our cows special is that they, are all, they all have their own individual names and that's part of the rules for the herd book. So like this girl here, 553, 873 on her tag, she's called Alice. Um, and then the one alongside her, it does get quite hard knowing all their names. Um, I think I can actually look, and that's what's quite cool as well. You can see on your phone, you can actually look back and see. She's a new heifer, I've just come in. She's called Rena. Um, and then the one alongside her, 436, she's called Michelle. Um, but yeah, every individual cow or little calf when it's born gets given its own name. So that's another little quirky thing about our, uh, our cows as well. In this shed, there is 120 of our famous Jersey cows. And we're gonna talk to you and explain how we look after them, what we do, all the feed we use for them. And also, firstly, we're gonna start by showing you why we keep our cows inside in these sheds during the winter months. So if you follow me, we'll go and have a look. So we are out in the field, um, and this is one of the cows grazing lays. So this is what they'll be using to come out and eat their grass in about March time, fingers crossed. Um, but basically, yeah, so from middle of October onwards, temperatures drop, um, we tend to get a lot more rainfall, and to bring our cows out onto these fields every day, the grass stops growing, so there's not enough for them to eat, and also the ground conditions, it just starts getting, you kind of see there, just a bit squelchy on top um, and a bit too wet. So if we kept bringing the cows out to these fields, they would just turn into, rather than being a nice green field like you see behind us, it would just be a complete mud bath. And then by the time we get to, hopefully like in a few weeks time, rather than this field now, you just come down and see, you can see um, all the clover's just starting to grow back, the grass is starting to green up. And this is starting to grow now and hopefully it's going to provide a good base for the cows to come out and eat in March. Rather than having this, we would just have bare soil and it would be, there'd be nothing for the cows to eat in the new spring. So that's why we put the cows in the sheds during the winter months. So now we've seen why the cows are in these sheds during the winter months, we will just talk to you about, well, what's in these sheds? What makes them so great for our cows to be in and how we look after them and what makes it up. So I think first off, as you can see here, this is where the cows in these individual cubicles. So this is basically, these are like the beds for our cows to sleep in. So you can see this girl here, she's having a little snooze now. Um, and they lie head first with their rear at the back. And on these mattresses, so these are actually mattresses here. So these are rubber mattresses. So we actually put um, shavings on top, but these are actually soft. So these have got, um, uh, they're like memory foam mattresses. Um, they're about 30, I think they're about, wait, what are they? 40 mil thick memory foam mattresses. So they make it really comfy 
for the cows to lie on and sleep on. But what we also do to make sure they stay nice and clean is every day, so once in the morning and once in the evening, we come along, we brush off if there's any muck, and that will just get brushed off. And then we can apply, we use a hydrated lime from a company called Nadins, and we spread that on the back of the bed along here. And then we also come along with this, it's kind of like, um, it's like a powder bed, it's called. It comes from Platts, um, and it's a sawdust type product. And it just, we just spread, spread it along like that. Just literally chuck it down. We spread about, see these bags here? Uh, we spread about three of these in the morning, three of those at night time. And that just helped keep the backs of these beds and the fronts, to be honest, nice and clean. So that when the cow is lying down, just like this girl here, you can see that it's all nice and clean. There's no muck around her. And it's the, I say it's, it's all kept nice and clean for the cows to lie down on. So the reason we can keep all this shed so nice and clean is these cows, they've all got their very own robotic slurry hoover. So we're gonna have a take a look at that and see what it does to keep this shed floor all nice and spotless. So here it is. This is our Laley Discovery uh, scraper which, as you can see, is definitely not as clean as the hoovers you'll have in your home, but this one does live in a cow shed. So it's all controlled through an app on our phone, so we can plan all the different routes. Um, this is just showing us here, the next run it's on, it's going off again in actually about 20 seconds. So it's going off at half one, and it'll go onto all pre-programmed routes that we've set up for the scraper to do. So let's go and see it working. So this is the scraper working. It's going up and down at the back of where the cows are sleeping. So you can see when the cows are sleeping, um, usually they do their, the cow manure, the cow pats would come down behind the cow and this then goes along and pushes, if we just come ahead of it, it's actually quite clean here already, but it would push down the cow pats into the holes. And if you see down below here, there's a massive tank underneath this shed. So it's basically like a giant swimming pool of all the cow manure. Um, and we store it in this big tank until we can spread it out onto the fields in the springtime. So this robot now, it's programmed, it will follow, follow the edge of the beds. So there's a concrete edge here, um, and that's what it's following. Um, and it goes up all the way along, and it's probably in a minute, it's going to turn around. So we'll watch it turn around. It comes back down and it will clean the next section. And watch it as it goes up. So we've actually just paused it there and that's what we can do on the app. We can actually manually drive it as well. So if ever we had problems with it or we need to reset it, um, we can control each individual motor. So the left as the left wheel motor and the right as the right wheel motor. So I'll just show you now, we'll turn it back around. Um, that's just the right wheel motor being powered up. And then we can just bring it back down. Um, watch out for this cow. Cows are quite clever. Um, they took a couple of days to get used to it, but now they're fully aware of it. And when they hear it, they know it's coming and they just uh, move out the way. So as you can see here, where the floor, the floor is a bit mucky already, and it goes along, and then what gets left behind it, the floor has all been cleaned. So this scraper, pretty cool. It'll keep going up and down all day long. Um, it's programmed to work every hour. It does different routes throughout the shed to make sure all of the shed is cleaned at a frequent time. And it's got, to keep it working in a nice straight line, it's actually done on these sensors. You might not be able to see them, but they're in there as a little white sensor, and that's what keeps it nice, keeps it nice and straight and makes sure it goes on the right path. So we've looked at where the cows sleep. They sleep in these cubicles. Um, we've looked at what type of uh, sawdust we use to keep them bedded, and we've also seen the robot which goes up, up and down, keeping the pathway nice and clean. Um, one last thing before we go and look at their food and water is these little brushes we've got. These are scattered throughout the shed. 
and they just keep the cows. The cows seem to love them, just like us humans. If you get someone scratching your back, um, it's really comfortable and always a nice feeling. Um, cows love it as well. So that's another little thing we've added into these sheds. So the other thing that's really important, along with food, is the water. So our cows, they can actually drink up to 50 litres of water per day. Um, so it's really important. They've got lots of access to water troughs. They've got them all along this wall and a couple more at the other end. So we're at the other end of the shed. Um, all of our water troughs, they are so simple to clean. It makes it really, really easy. All we literally have to do is pull this bar up and then in three, two, one, the whole trough will empty out. So we go three, two, one. Easy peasy. Then it slots back in like that. And then we can just go with the brush and then we can just brush brush out anything that gets remaining there. Um, and then it just stays nice and clean, like you just saw before, and then automatically fills back up again. So, finally, we will now look at the, what our cows eat. So our cows get a diet mixed up for them every single morning, um, and it's put out for them usually around six o'clock. Um, they're actually eating, each individual cow in this shed roughly eats about 40 kilos of food a day. So it's a lot of food they're eating. Um, so we're putting out about 5,000 kilos in this shed for them to eat every day. And it is put out in a big giant, like, imagine a big Kenwood mixer like you have in your kitchens. So we've got, it's called a feeder wagon. Um, we've got an RS Agri feeder wagon, which we can chuck all of the different cows ingredients which make up the diet. Um, so we've actually got, funny enough, we've got a special like cow nutritionist. So we speak to um, our nutritionist. We tell them how much milk our cows are giving. Um, and then he then tailors uh, the diet to make sure that our cows stay in the perfect condition. So then we know how much to put of each individual ingredients. So in this handful of, um, it's called a ration. So this is a, the cow's ration. It's made up of lots of different things, but includes um, grass silage, as you can see there. There's also maize silage. Um, so that is, you can just see, like what, what, what corn of the cob comes from, but we cut the whole plant up. So that's the bit of, quite hard to see, but bit of corn of the cob. Um, there's also some wheat and barley, which is crushed up, which we grow on our farm, um, along with some fodder beet. And then there's also some, vitamins and minerals, along with uh, some rape meal as well. So all of that gets mixed up and delivered out to the cows every morning. Um, we've got some videos we took this morning, which are gonna show you now of the feed being put out. So we've just seen how the cow's food has all been put out this morning, all in these lines. Um, what's also really important is how we can, sometimes you can see here now the cows, when they're eating their food, they sometimes push it out. Um, so it's important that we keep the food pushed up throughout the day. 
we've got a machine on our JCB, very simple, two tires, they spin around on the floor and it just keeps the food, the cow's food, all nice and tight to their feed barrier. So I'll go and show you that in a minute, but we hope you've enjoyed the video of our cow shed today. Just talking very briefly about our special Jersey cows, um, how we look after them, why we keep them in these sheds and everything we do to keep them as happy and healthy um, as they can be. So thank you very much and see you soon.